Hi, Amy here from Life Science Centre and I'm going to show you how to manipulate something that you can't see. To do that, I'm using air cannons. So how does it work? Well, the tube or the bottle might look empty, but they're not. They're full of air. We can't see it, but air takes up space, whatever space is available to it. So when I pull on the balloon on the end of the cannon, the air fills that space. When I release the balloon, suddenly that space gets smaller. So some of the air is forced out of the hole at the other end of the cannon, creating a gust that can move small objects, like my little paper butterflies. To make your air cannon, you'll need something to be the body of it. I tried an empty Pringles tube and an empty plastic bottle, but there are lots of things you could use instead. You need to have an opening at either end, so I cut the bottom off my Pringles tube, making sure to cut through the cardboard and not the metal, and I cut the bottom off my plastic bottle as well. Please make sure you have adult supervision when cutting anything, and be careful in case there are sharp edges left behind. The other end needs to have a narrow opening. If you're using a plastic bottle, you have that already, as the top is quite small. For the Pringles tube, I used the plastic lid and cut a circular hole in it. I then used tape to cover any sharp edges and taped the lid securely onto one end of the Pringles tube. If you don't have the plastic lid left over, why not try using cardboard to make something similar? Once you have that end sorted, you need to put a balloon on the other end. Cut the narrow neck of the balloon off to make it easier to fit over the wide end of your cannon. You also need a way to test your cannons. I created a game by making some small origami butterflies and trying to launch them at a paper flower target. I experimented with how far I could make the butterflies go and what happened if I changed the angle that I held my air cannon at. You can even have a go at changing the size of the opening on your cannon and see if that makes a difference or the size of the cannon itself. If you have a go at making your own, why not share some pictures or videos with us by uploading them to social media and tagging us at hashtag life goes online. The body of it, I used <coughs> you have to make 